Hey everyone, Shinberg here, and today we are going to take a quick look into Sparklight. Uh, I heard that this was a roguelike type game, and it is coming from a developer that is no stranger to bringing roguelike games to mobile. Uh, I think another earlier one I have covered on the channel before, Dead Cells, was published by them as well. So, um, you are able to pick this up for free to try on the Play Store, but I believe this will be a full premium game. So, we'll go through the free starting bits and see what, uh, what the game will have under its repertoire and see if it's worth uh, paying for at the end of the demo. And it says tap to start, but uh, it did tell me that it was full controller support. Uh, so right off the bat, unlock full game, so let's see what uh, that entails. Well, uh, to continue the adventure. We haven't even started the adventure yet, so we'll say not now. Uh, I did take a look at the store, and I believe it was uh, um, telling me that it was going to be like $7 Canadian, which is pretty standard for mobile gaming prices. So. I won't argue with that, and if I enjoy what I uh, play, then I'll uh, certainly swing a couple of bucks their way. Let's start a new game. Uh oh, <laughs> casual mode. They've dumbed it down for me. Uh, provides less challenging experience for players. It's intended for players who want to experience the story and the world of Spark like, like without the added stress of having to play their best. You know, let's go with standard. I'm guessing, yeah, uh, beat the game in standard mode and you you can go for a harder one. Riding, shooting, shooting, of course, one storm. We need to get out of here. The storm is highly unusual. I'm detecting severe seismic activity on the surface. Not good enough on the ground either. Uh, for now, we have full systems function. Wait, standby. We're experiencing strange corrosion on a hull. It looks, it looks like it's moving. Uh, <laughs> quick, take out that muck with your wrench. Okay, uh, that's the dash. Okay, so that's my attacking button. I can't tell whether these are uh, slimes or <laughs> nice work or little pieces of poop. Work. We've taken out the poop. Yikes! Hammer down that nail before the whole thing falls apart. Uh, okay, which is my hammer button? Charge, oh, charge up with your wrench attack. It's hammer time! Uh, if you want the four piece... Okay. Uh, how do you expect me to get over there? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's no use, we're gonna have to abandon ship! Initiating escape protocol. Did we just jump over the side? Is that the escape protocol? Want me to? Uh, the same one has been passed down in your family for generations. It's priceless to you. So I guess I better take it. Or is that going to be the thing that makes me... Uh, Okay, come on. <laughs> but what about my amulet? Oh no, the switch is, is calibrated. There's no time. <laughs> You'll have to go without me. Please don't fret, it's truly been a pleasure serving you. For the first two minutes of this game. Goodbye. Goodbye, Ada. Uh, am I Ada then? Uh, I take the amulet. Apparently I can. <laughs> I 
Uh, uh, well, I abandoned ship. <laughs> It's still raining. Uh, oh, so now we're gonna do. I can cut the grass. Grass cutting simulator 2021. Uh, what am I doing with these things? Probably poisoning the air. pieces of my ship. Oh. My amulet! It's precious to me. You recovered your family's necklace. You've had it since you were a child. The way it sparkles reminds you of twinkling stars. Uh, it actually reminds me of the Minecraft diamond, but uh, we won't split hairs here. Uh, and let me guess, I can go back to this hut which I couldn't open before and now I can. Inspect. Ooh. Spark Slinger. A spark like tensioner. Cobbled together with spare parts from your from my pockets. It's a little rickety, but it'll do in a pinch. Charge up. So a lot of charging up here. in the workshop. Okay. So did I just lose it then? Yes, I did. I hope I don't need it. What happened? What happened? You found a piece of spark light. This is the primary currency of Geodia. Go back. Yeah, you guys again. Well, it is cheery music, so I guess it can't be too bad. Ooh. Am I walking through mud or poop? Take that, little creature. That's right, I'm not gonna make peace, I'm just gonna go walking through. Wanton destruction. Open! Uh, Hawk's widget bag. You found a widget bag. It contains some valuable looting gizmos. Looking gizmos. Uh, someone likely wants it back. Uh, yeah, well, my ship is, uh, is destroyed, and I lost my little robot companion, so we don't all get things that we want, you know. Again. Oh, 
I guess you want the bag, right? Talk. Boy, I'm glad to see another person that was quite a storm. Yeah, you're telling me. I've never seen anything like it. I've lived here for a hundred years. And those ground tremors. I was worried this whole place was going to shift out from under us. The name's Hawkins. This is... Was my widget shop. No way I'll be able to do business if these tremors keep up. I heard rumors of a floating city where people were taking refuge from the storms. But I decided to stay down here like a moron. I'd like to set up shop there, but I can't find my widget bag anywhere. Hey, think you could help me track it down? I'll make it worth your time. I think some gremlins nicked it from, from me during the storm. There's a cap camp of gremlins southwest of here. See if you can find my widget bag there. Oh, you mean this widget bag? Honest, I didn't think you could handle those gremlins. Who uses a wrench as a weapon? Thanks for the widgets. Now I can head out to find the refuge place the folks are talking about. I didn't forget our bargain. As a reward for bringing me my widgets, you can keep the bag. <sighs> Anyways, I got Hawk's widget bag. Now I can hold widgets you find in the world. I'll even let you keep a few timed mines I left in there. It's explosives on the ground blowing up after a short duration. If you ever make it to the floating town, come say hello. Is that all you have for me, Hawkins? Pet the dog! <laughs> Hello, Boogie. Hello, Boogie, Boogie, Boogie. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yes, more pet petting simulators, please. Um, can't get past here! Help! over this chasm. Or not. <laughs> well, whoops. Uh, okay. Talk. Alright, apparently I can't... Uh, can I... Nope, I can't make it up even a little incline like that. Oh. <laughs> they want me to plant a bomb, don't they? Fair enough. Take that, you nasty gremlin. Gremlin? Place another bomb there. One crystal? Was it really worth one crystal? Got my heart back. Ida, you're alive. So are you, little robot companion. Listen, you shouldn't be here. He's too strong for you. Who? Oh no! Get out before it's too. Ah! Boris, tunneling titan. Titan. Ah. Right, you're gonna make this pretty easy for me if that's all you got. Oops.
Wow. All right. <laughs> Are you taking me? Stellar, you're awake. Uh, well, you talked first, so welcome aboard the refuge. It's a safe haven from the chaos on Geodia. It's also a modern marvel of technology. We've leveraged contemporary astro theory to achieve perfect energy lossless flight. We pulled you up days ago, but you've been out like a light. That Titan gave you a real beating. What were you thinking before one of those barren foremen fighting one of those barons foremen alone? You need to be in the Titan rig yourself to stop one, or at least the strongest one. Instead, I'm just a little wimpy. Dot, dot, dot. Hold on. That gives me an idea. Can I see your wrench multi-tool? Sure. Yes, that's prime. Okay, this will only take me a second. Aha, it works. Well, if you say so, I've outfitted your multi-tool with a patch board. Uh, did I need one? Oh, and you'll also need this. Increases maximum health by a quarter heart. Equipable at the multi-tool enhancement machine in the medical facility. It's a resilience patch. You can equip it on your multi-tools patch board to surface more hits down to survive more hits down on the surface. Remember, you can only equip patches from the multi-tool enhancement machine here in the med bay. Nowhere else. With enough patches, maybe you can take out that foreman and rescue your robot friend you've been mumbling about in your sleep. Oh, I mumble in my sleep now, do I? But if you want more patches, you're going to need more sparklight. They're powered by the stuff. Of course they are. The only way to get more sparklight is from the mutants and gremlins back down on the surface. Hooray! If you want to go back down, speak to Cruz on the east docks. And of course I have achievements! Uh, okay, so I do have some uh, resilience, bronze, energy patch, damage patch. Ooh. Don't have enough of that. I don't have enough for that either. So let's see if we can just take quarter heart. facility can't do that all right so i guess i need to talk to you in order to leave oh, no. that's the refuge's chief engineer he hasn't spoken since we launched the refuge that's the okay we get it we get it all right This is our home base. Hot dog, all aboard! Yeah. Hawkins! Not much of a salesman. I can't set up shop. How am I supposed to earn a living? You can find more spark light to power my widget shop. I'll give you widgets for free. Uh, so, the answer to everyone's energy or crystal crisis is to have me. Go get it for me. Is that what I'm getting here? Hmm. I hear something chirping nearby. But I can't find it. Will you help me look? Uh, you mean the thing on your head? Uh, well, let's... 
go down and see if we can't take out that monster and at least exit or, or finish the demo off uh, in, in, in fun fashion. Hey there, Ricky. I'm Bruce, Ace Navigator and Pilot. If you want to spark, talk to me and I'll show you where you need to go. So, you're all geared up and ready to head down for some spoils? Well, I guess so, because I got nothing else. Wahoo! Away we go! either. Found a piece of white spark light. This is worth 10 pieces of spark light. Oh, wow. Goody for me. I see. Hmm, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Possible I don't even I shouldn't even be here. Maybe that's that's the idea. Let's just get down into here. Hearts, please. Thank you. All right, here we go again. So I should be able to get past it, no problem. People had difficulty with you.
got you. Now give me back my friend. Ada! I'm still operational. What a close call. It was awfully dark in there. And it smelled terrible. I'll bet. Before I almost became junk food, I noticed these strange glyphs. Those gremlins were trying to trying real hard to get in, but it sealed shut. There's no way we're getting in there. Oh contraire. I have the key. Wow. How is that? We're trapped. Hang on. I'm picking up some serious energy coming from this hole in the ground. I've got an idea. Try taking me over with your remote. Because I can do that. Uh, okay. Now let's dig up whatever whatever's under here. It's a switch. Yep, <laughs> that's what I do. When in doubt, just hit it. Okay, so you have your little robot companion to... Ooh. This rune of unknown origin, but I may be able to decipher its meaning. A message. The sheer amount of information stored in this one sigil is quite remarkable. They sought a place safe from the violent toils of the universe. Guided by the astronomer. Ast astronomer. Uh, they traveled across darkness for ages. The astronomer. With her limitless knowledge of the stars, led them here. That's all I was able to decipher. Well, <laughs> more than what I would have gotten. <gasps> Big crystal. You have done well to reach this hollow vault, starborn child. Defeating the Titan was no small task. You have re reunited with your faithful friend. Although it may seem your journey is complete, it is just the beginning. So, in lighting this beacon, you have activated the Astronomer's Seal, the first of five. You must activate the remaining seals, or this world will be as you continue your journey. And a small nominal fee. Make haste, starborn child. The world's fate is in your hands. And we're back in the sanctuary, but I think that we'll call it for this one. Uh, I know that the demo was a little bit short, and I think defeating that Titan was sort of the sort of the end of it. But uh, not bad from what I've been playing so far, so I might actually pick up the rest and continue to play through all my own. If this uh, seems uh, interesting to you at all, you can find the Sparklight free to try in the App Store. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment or subscribe to my channel for more mobile gaming goodies. Because you'll never know what I'll be picking up next. This has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye!